for so many years go up in smoke and um, you know I have quite a number of employees that have been with me a long time and um, I just love them as uh, part of the family. Murdering her baby at the prom. It's pretty uh, hard, you know, when you see something like this uh, with so many years go up in smoke. And, um, you know, I have quite a number of employees that have been with me a long time, and um, I just love them as uh, part of the family. Larry Witter also lost his luncheonette next door. It's the whitewash. <laughs> it's gone. There's nothing there. Nine years gone. Larry Witter and other store owners I spoke with say they do have insurance, but right now they're not sure whether or not they'll rebuild. Walt? Carla Raw, thanks. Four suspects. A mushroom cloud of smoke hundreds of feet tall hung over Pompton Lakes. As seen in this home video, firefighters from 12 communities struggled to contain the worst blaze in the borough's history. The call came in shortly after 7 this morning. Flames were shooting from a light fixture in the ceiling of the Acme Market. Investigators suspect an electrical malfunction. When the building was built in the early 50s. Former Fire Chief McCall had asked for fire walls in the building. They were not built because they were not code. And uh, what we had basically was a fire rip from one end of the building to the other. The roofs on a dozen stores collapsed like dominoes, sending glass and debris shooting from the scene. Some of the hundreds of people who worked here stood watching while fighting back tears. Terry Muller opened her own gift store nine years ago and learned of its ruin on her way to work. They came through town and they had it blocked off over there and an officer says you can't go through and I said I have to, my store is there and he, I was told not anymore and that's how I found out. So this is a shock. Larry Witter, the owner of a luncheonette, says his family is stunned by the suddenness of their loss. We gotta wait and see what happens. We don't know anything. If he rebuilds it, you're back in business. If he doesn't rebuild it, you're out of business. You don't know what. The mayor says Pompton Lakes is committed to helping the shopping center recover. It's family. That's where we work. That's where we, we had our first jobs, whether it was there or in the luncheonette or, or whatever. So we will work every way we can to assist everybody that's there now. You're looking at another live picture of the scene and the sidelines where people have stopped all day to see the rubble for themselves. The mayor said the property loss is more than one and a half million dollars. It's impossible to calculate the degree of heartache and other concerns and inconvenience here in Pompton Lakes this evening. Reporting live from Passaic County, I'm Celeste.